How's it going guys? I'm Jack and welcome back to Good Company and today we're playing another challenge level. We haven't done one of these for a while, in fact this is the last one that's available for us to do. Uh, this is Smart as a Cup, it used to be called Chassis Parade uh, but they updated it and uh, I just haven't got around to playing it uh, because we've been focusing on Jackmas Industries which is our free play mode uh, playthrough. Um, that is all finished now so we're going to give this a go. Are we going to get three trophies? I have no idea. You're just going to have to uh, watch and find out. Uh, so let's jump into it and see how it goes. If you do enjoy city building simulation and management games, be sure to subscribe. Also hit the like button if you do enjoy the video. And I live stream over on Twitch every Sunday and Monday. The link to my channel is in the description. So uh, like I said, this is a new one. It's kind of new. It used to be Chassis Parade. Uh, so it's the same sort of idea where you have to fill up the palette with a certain module and then when it's filled up that goes on to the next uh, next module first thing we're going to do here right we're going to actually change this to manual mode uh, so we have full control over the manual mode that's a nice blue color isn't it <laughs> that's a really nice blue color it's like the C uh, okay let's get on with it um, so I've had a few goes at this I haven't got very far I'm not gonna lie so I really don't know if we're gonna be able to do it or not but we're gonna try our hardest um, so we're going to start off with a couple welding tables. In fact, let's go for uh, four welding tables. And these are going to be making the Shocking Cup. That is our first module. Uh, you can't actually get these modules in free play mode. Um, they're just um, a challenge exclusive, I guess, would, would be the word for them. Uh, so let's get those being made. Whack some people in there. Um, I've been asking for this for a long time and uh, it's finally, well I, it was updated ages ago but there's now so many people available to hire right from the get go which is a godsend I tell you. So good. Um, it used to be like two a day or one a day and it would just be a nightmare to get everything up and running. Um, what else do we need on here though? Let's uh, not, uh, what's it, deviate from our plan I don't know there is no plan for this uh, energy cell that's what we need to make uh, which can be made on a chemistry table and that takes chemical compound and chemicals and plastic parts oh okay it's expensive uh, so that's plastic parts there we can upgrade that table we're gonna do well one of the goals is not to run out of money so we're gonna be using cheap tables to start with and when we once we get like a bit of money coming in then we'll um uh, upgrade the tables and stuff uh let's whack that there as well and that's gonna be making chemicals uh chemical compound okay let's get some people on these i may actually shift these up a bit now with the challenge uh levels i always make a mistake of using small shelves so i'm going to use a medium shelf for pretty much everything um because I don't know what I'm, I'm going to have to change and move. These ones are going to be fine because these are only going to take those two. And I'm never going to use them shelves for anything else. So that's all good. Uh, but these shelves, I might rearrange this a bit. Uh, right, so let's get um, a pallet down, in fact. We'll put that right there. Should we put it there? You know what, let's put it there. We, we want to reduce the walking times. But um, I don't know. That's probably the, That is the best place for it, right? Okay, so let's go for plastic. I want to buy that in. Metal and chemicals. Do we need metal? Oh yeah, we do need metal. We need chemicals. We need plastic. And that's it. Okay, uh, let's get these up and running. So, oh, the classic manual logistics. I'm loving it. <laughs> I do like the automatic logistics so it started off with out it started out with a lot of problems but a lot of the issues have been fixed now and it's so much better uh, just have been able to just um uh, just place down some tables it all works it out works it out for you um i have got a video idea planned uh, i may leave it until the new update comes out though which is going to be tips and things that i've found out about the automatic logistics system and uh, everything so i'm I'm probably going to be making that at some point. Right, this is already getting pretty long, but that is the initial setup. Everything has got a uh, employee. We'll put three logistics employees on there. Right, let's get this. Let's get this going. Hopefully, this all works. Now, I just have to wait for the first day. That's when the material comes in. So yeah, I like to do 
as many logistics employees as there are shelves um so basically how i th think it works well in my brain anyway um each uh logistics employee will take care of one shelf uh hopefully hopefully <laughs> so we've got our first modules being made luckily we get cash coming in when modules get placed onto the pallet we don't have to wait till sunday for them to uh be sold which is really uh, useful uh, for these challenge levels we are running out of energy cells but that's because we are not making that many we just need to well that would make sense wouldn't it we're running out because we're not making many <laughs> we're gonna update grade this upgrade this table when uh we get maybe like 10 grand 11 grand maybe uh so yeah we've got 120 days to sell 400 modules for free trophies now doing some quick maths and some calculator that i did uh like before <laughs> it's uh it works out to be like 3.3 .3 a day i think so if we aim for like four uh four a day or even like five a day uh later on that will be uh should be sufficient however there is downtime obviously so there are going to be days where you're not making anything when you change over to the new module so we're coming up to that nine grand you know what let's upgrade it so that's gonna uh, really increase the output of our energy cells and hopefully these guys won't run out uh, from from now on hopefully uh, so how many are we on 50 after 20 days well we're, we're behind schedule obviously uh, but it's all good all good in the hood don't worry about that uh, it will we'll make it work guys we'll make it work so I reckon what I could do for now to make speed things along I'm actually just gonna whack down a welding table here and that is gonna be supplied by that one and it's just gonna add a few more of these modules uh, to the uh, to the pile I guess so yeah we're actually stacking up we're actually stacking up modules uh, so I was going to place another welding table down, but they're five grand each. We don't have that much money. Well, that's weird. Why is he going all the way around there? He went all the way around there to place it on the shelf. How strange. There's a hundred percent. Hang on. Oh, he can't get through there. Okay. I was going to say, there's 100% a, a walkway through there, but there clearly wasn't. Right, let's do that. I mean, you could literally just directly put it on there, right? Anyway, right, that's fine. Um, should have increased our production a little bit. So, by 30 days, we kind of wanted 120. I mean, we're getting close. We're getting close. It, it, it's going to be... It's going to be... A, all the challenges, all right, guys, are ridiculously hard. I'm not going to lie. They are so difficult. Uh, but they are, they are doable. Just you just got to be like... Like, no mistakes. That's it. I say... Well, I say they are doable to get, like, one trophy. Like, that's fine. But, like, the three trophies is in incredibly hard. Okay, all right. Module has been updated. So, what we're going to do... I'm going to actually delete that. Just give us a little bit more cash. And I may even delete one of these as well you know what we'll leave it for how it is and move these up here just to give us some more space closer to this pallet so the final product is not actually um going anywhere uh going anywhere no we want it to go on the pallet hang on <coughs> just so the final product hasn't got that far to travel through the factory okay that makes more sense. We'll leave that set up like that there, I think. And what is the next module anyway? Right, it's a screeching cup and it needs a shocking cup, which we're making, and a beeper as well. Okay. So I feel like we're going to need three tables doing uh, the screeching cup. Oh, get on there got to keep an eye on our cash as well 15 grand is not a lot we'll put a medium shelf there oh we'll spin it around as well 
grab hold of that. There you go. Okay. So that's... You know what? Could we actually use... Oh, what am I doing? We could actually use a small shelf for that, I think. Should I do that? Nah. Let's do that. Screeching cup over to there. Now beepers. Okay, we need to make beepers. Um, yeah, this, with the small shelf, uh, the walking time is going to be a little bit longer. With the medium shelf, this table here can like literally just spin around, take off there. So there's no walking time there, and then there's no walking time for this uh, shelf either. With a small shelf, it'd just be in the middle. So these two in the middle will have to walk some distance. I know it doesn't make that much difference, but over time, over time it adds up. Every little helps, guys. Every little helps. Um, so, uh, beepers. I'm going to move these down here a little bit. Maybe it's more sensible to move them up. Yeah, let's move them up here then. Uh, just so again, there's not much of a walking time from there over to these two shelves. Uh, so, right, beepers. Um, electronics workbench. I feel like we're going to need three beepers. Three tables making beepers. But then what do the beepers need? That's that's the thing. Right, so that's gonna be that. Beeper, beeper, beeper. You know what? I'm actually gonna I'm gonna demolish one of these because uh, we're running low on cash. And I think I'm gonna take those off there, those off there, and whatever, we'll take that off there as well. Uh whack those on there. And we will make a little thing like this. There we go. So that's um, that table is now going to be supplied by that. And then we can move this over. Yeah, let's move this over. And then that is going to be amazing. Okay. Um, all good. All looking good there medium shelf what do these beepers need actually they need plastic parts and circuit boards okay so what we'll do move that to there we do need to make circuit boards plastic parts are coming from there so maybe we could incorporate plastic uh, circuit boards into this little production bit here so let's try and do that Uh, circuit boards how am I gonna lay this out hmm, that's gonna be some big walking time there you know what let's keep it like that and then we will put circuit boards um, Let's have a think about this. Circuit boards could go there. No, they can't. Oh, I don't know where to put the circuit boards. I might just put them down here. I'm guessing we're only going to need one table doing circuit boards. So how many do these use? They use one circuit board a day, so that's three a week. Uh, three a day, and this makes five a day. Yeah, that's fine, isn't it? Okay, so... I think I just made that more complicated than it should be, but it's fine. We'll get some more logistics employees as well in a sec. Right, so that's beepers there, and we'll get metal from here and plastic parts from there. We may need to increase production of crap, uh, plastic parts as well. But for now, we'll leave it. And while I'm here, I'm going to move these over one. Just so there's walking time. The walking time from there, it just goes straight through there. That beeper being a little bit away from that um, shelf, I don't think is a big, big issue. Oh, we should probably get someone hide on that one. Right, I think it's all connected up. Um, right, let's put a few more logistics employees on. Need these circuit boards being made ASAP. There we go. Okay. I think this is going to work. 
yeah we've got people uh, we've got them being made over here fantastic you know what I don't think that walking time is that bad anyway for uh, circuit boards so we'll um we'll do that yeah I don't think it's gonna add that much time them going around that way how many have we got on there 10 it's not not great now I'm wondering if these are actually gonna right so they are going up so we can actually upgrade that one let's see if they're still going up seven six five seven six yeah I'm gonna upgrade another one when we get a little bit yeah let's go for it now and I ideally would want to upgrade this one as well so that's going eight seven six five yeah that's not running out either is it with uh, both those tables upgraded yeah let's do it let's upgrade that maximum production so 50 days we wanted maybe four a day we wanted 200 I mean we're not anywhere near that but <laughs> it's fine it's fine we'll make it work like I said guys we may not even get three trophies on this one um I'm gonna do my best though I'm gonna do my best it's still going up guys all right it's still going up so I may even just put I'm going to put an, a small shelf there instead. Hmm, I'd like to move these up a bit, actually. Just up one like that. If I do it like that, and then I can put another one of the advanced workbenches there. Get that being made. Oh, we're running really low on money now, actually. We won't risk that. Uh, we'll just do a normal electronics workbench for now. Hide that back on there. Um, these are all going to be supplied using this one. I'm gonna actually going to delete that. It's going to break all the logistics connections, but we'll redo them. And then I'll whack on this shelf. Uh, oh, hang on. That needs to go to there. That needs to come from there. And that needs to go from there. And then on this shelf, I'm going to whack everything that we took off. So that, that, and that. And you know what? Screeching cup, I'm just going to whack it straight on here because we can. We can do that. We're the boss. Okay, so it's all looking decent. I'm going to upgrade that now because we've got cash coming in. Again, let's see if these beepers are... You know what I'm actually going to do? I'll move that over there. Because I don't know why they're walking that way. They can walk just through there, can't they? So I'm pretty sure we've got two more modules left to do. Uh, 55. So at 60, day 60, we kind of wanted like 240. We're not even at 200 yet, are we? Nah. Okay, so they're still not running out of, right they're running out of beepers now so i'm gonna actually oh we can't upgrade those oh we can't upgrade them hmm i thought we could use them um, use uh the advanced electronic workbench to make beepers but obviously you can't and um, we may just leave this then running for now uh see if we can actually uh i mean 60 for 200 is decent it's like kind of like they're just sitting there like so we can actually just um we can move them ourselves if we're desperate uh right so we just got the first trophy you know what i think we are on track we are on track right it's making seven that's making eight that's making eight a week so that's making roughly just over four a day running out of beepers now 
don't think that's much of an issue. We could put another beeper table down. Uh, we've only got we only got to make twenty more. And there's how many on there already? There's eight on there already. Okay, so let's go for that. And I think do they have? Uh, no, no, they don't have any in their hand. There's four. There's five. The thing we've not put in any more tables down as well, it's going to give us some more cash to um, actually uh, play with the next for the next module. Okay, right, so that is that is that module done. Okay, now this is where things get a little bit tricky, I think. Uh, this metal, can I put it in here? Or who needs metal? You need metal. I don't really want to waste all this metal, you know. I mean, I'm well, yeah, I'll, I'll just keep filling out metal when I can. Um, so, let's have a think about this. Uh, next module is the Always Sunny Cup. How nice. Uh, Always Sunny Cup can be made on one of these. And it can also be made on... And advanced electronics workbench. Now we've got a lot of cash, so we're gonna go straight for four of these, all right? Uh, wherever it is, one, two, three, four. We will keep that layout as well. I've got a I've got a cheeky idea, right? Micromanagement to the max. Um, I'm not going to link up the logistics for the Always Sunny Cup to the outgoing zone. I'm just going to move them over myself. It's going to save on logistics, people, and it's going to be much quicker. So it doesn't actually matter where this table goes. It's not, you know what, that's probably the best I've, idea I've ever had in my whole entire life. Okay, right, let's move this down. I'm going to try and incorporate L LED... Uh, LED matrix. I was going to say LCD. It's not LCD, is it? It's LED. We only got LED here. Uh, right. 0 0.6 days, and this gets made in uh, 0 0.6 days. So we're going to need four of these, and this takes four plastic parts, four circuit boards. So we're going to have to increase production of circuit boards, which we can do quite easily. You know what? We don't actually have a lot of space here, do we? You know what I'm actually going to do? I'm going to move all this up here. Um, going to spin that around. Okay, so that's going to go like that. Uh, we may bring that... Should we go up or down? I don't know. Um, I'm going to... Hmm... Yeah, I need to move this over here somewhere. Let's see if I can fit it in. Nah, it's not going to work, is it? Move these up one. Oh, we've got the pillar there as well. Okay, this plastic... Hang on, we need to make plastic parts, don't we? So, I'll bring this bit down here. And we will increase we will increase the production of plastic parts as well while we're at it may as well so we'll upgrade that uh we've only got 16 grand left oh right what i'm gonna do is actually gonna delete one of these then don't think we need it uh so that's gonna go over here move these over a little bit like that um, now ideally okay right good 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 that's good I like that ideally we would like um, a big shelf here so I'll delete this just again to save on walk-in time link that up beepers are gonna be coming from here shocking cup from there Screeching cup over to here. And then 
LED, LEDs are going to be going to there and then I wasn't going to link that up. Okay, so that's all looking good. I will put those on there so it's all right and that on there and that's it. Oh, why can't they get to... Why, why are they not... Why can't they get anywhere? And these guys can't get anywhere as well. Now, have I put... Ah, uh, look, look, look. Move these over a couple. Okay, so let me just check the logistics. I may have messed these up. Oh, no, that's fine. That's fine. I think the logistics people just couldn't get through. Uh, right, so that works. I think. Uh, well, yeah, we need to increase production of circuit boards then. We'll do that fairly quickly. Just like this. Um, corner shelf. You know what? Big shelf. I'm going to delete that again. Put a big shelf there. I say a big shelf. I need a, me I need a medium shelf. Not like that. Okay. Oh. And circuit boards are going over to there. No, they're not. They are going over to. Oh, hang on. We need a shelf for this. Okay, so circuit boards are going over there. I swear circuit boards were going somewhere else as well. Yeah, they were. Okay, they're going over to there. Now, where does that come from? Okay, I think that's back up and running. Material comes from there. Okay, so that's fine. Uh, we're going to need four, four of these tables, aren't we? So I'm going to set it out exactly like I've got it here. can actually move this over a little bit. So we'll do two like that. And put a big shelf for them there. Right, so circuit boards are going over to there. Uh, plastic parts are going to come from here. LED matrix. Uh, they're LED matrices, right? Yeah, they're going over to there. And then we just need electronic parts. That's all we need. Uh, so add a rule electronic parts. And they are going over to. Uh, where are they going to? I think they're going here. Yeah, they're going here. Okay. Right. And what I'm, what I'm going to do as well. I said I wanted four tables making those. Uh, what, hire some employees for there. That would be useful. Can we upgrade those. No, we can't. Let's go for another little bit down here and these are going to be making LED matrices now I have not laid this out very well like whatsoever but like everything make it work uh, so that goes to there matrices to there electronic parts from here okay right let's get let's get cooking Hopefully. <laughs> Again, if we need to, we'll just delete a table or some or something. I'll get ready for uh Okay, so LED matrices are being made. Fantastic. As soon as these get made, I'm picking them up and putting them on that pallet because I don't really want to run out of cash. Got a lot of outgoing money at the moment. There we go, right. So whack that down there. Oh, they get sold for a lot as well. 
So we could in fact increase our production quite a bit with all the extra cash we're getting. Okay, let's put them on there now. So they've run out of those. Right, we may need to increase plastic part production. Again. So what I'm actually just going to do is put a table here. Around the back. Plastic parts. Uh, that's good. Uh, we'll do that. Fantastic. You can never have enough plastic parts, I tell you. You never get enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay, looking good at the moment. How many are we on? 259. So 260 after 80. A little bit behind schedule, but you know what I think we need? I think we need some more logistics employees. Let's go for that. Get stuff moving a quick, a uh, bit quicker around the old factory floor. Yeah, run out of LED matrices. I don't think it's because we're not making enough. I think it's just because they're not being moved quick enough. Oh, you know what? I don't think. Yeah, we've got another doorway here. So we don't mind blocking this doorway off, actually. All that means is people will spawn. Let those guys get, get into the middle there. There we go. People spawn there and they'll just have to walk around there to get to their work zone, uh, work table, or whatever. Right, let's get those on there as well. So on 37 grand. Decent, decent. We're going to go massive production on the last, the last module. I don't know. I don't know if we will do it. Honestly, I don't know. So 280 after 90 days, well, 30 days to make 120. So, yeah, that's four a day, isn't it? We may need some more plastic parts. Um, what I'm going to do... This table is just going to be making plastic parts for the, all right yeah I'm gonna that's what I'm gonna do we're gonna put that like that that like that and that's literally gonna be making plastic parts um hang on let's have a think about this then plastic parts are only gonna be used for those and those plastic parts are only gonna be used for those tables okay so that's good we'll get that up there Okay, so that should sort out our plastic part situation. Hopefully. There's another 10. Are we using plastic parts for these as well, aren't we? Okay, maybe we just need another plastic part table. Again, just like here. Like I said, I have no idea what I'm doing, guys. I don't even know if this is going to work. Okay, now I feel like I should have increased production of this already, but... So we've got 12 there. So we need another 40. How many are they making a week? They're making 8. 8, 8, 7. So 16, 32 a week. So that's going to be a week and a bit. So that's going to be... 20 days to make some <laughs> I don't know I feel like I do need to put another table down just making these but then we're running out of LED matrices that's the thing just not making them quick enough let me uh, move those over myself So 
we can wait until this gets up to 40, I guess. And then we'll just have a massive, like, massive layout change for the very last module, and hopefully we can do it. Yeah, um... Can we actually make these on something else? No, we can't. Ah, that's annoying. Just gonna see if we could actually make them on a an improved table. I may just put down a couple more, like like over here. Cause we do need we do need to make them like as quick as we can. I'm not gonna worry about if they've got a long walk in time. So yeah, let's um they can just get stuff from there. And they're gonna whack another another one there. Okay. We're just literally just literally just packing stuff in as as much as we can now. Oh, that's the wrong wrong one. There we go. Seventeen, eighteen. This is it's going up pretty quick. So the last twenty days. Let's see what the last one is, right? So yeah, we've got another twenty. It's just going to be forty modules in twenty days. That's two a day. Plus we've got lots of money to 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 do it. Okay, 14, 15, 16. Okay, let's pause that. There's the last 20. Okay, we're on to the last module, which is the Smart Cup. <laughs> this is going to be different. We've got 13 days to make 40 modules. Oh, okay, right, yeah. We're not going to do this, guys, but we've, we've, got, we've got close. We've got close. Um, let's have a think about this then. Oh my day. I don't even know if this is possible. So smart as a... So microcontroller. Right, so right, let's have a look. The smart cup. We need a microcontroller. For that we need... Integrated circuits, multi-layer PCBs and electronic parts. So we can make those on there. That needs plastic parts. And then the multi-layer PCBs we do on the chemistry tape. Oh my days, oh, that's a freaking lot of stuff just for just for a smart cup. Um Let's see how far we can get, alright. I doubt we'll even make one. Again, I'm just not gonna worry about the layout. I'm just gonna put it down. We're gonna move them ourselves. Uh this can now go up to there. smart cup I feel like we could we I feel like it maybe is possible um, I don't think I did was very good with um, laying out well increasing production as we got lots of money basically that was the issue there I think so let's put that like that yeah look how much stuff you need for that so we're gonna do doing circuit boards from here, plastic and everything from here, and plastic parts. Well, let's go like that. That is everything being made. It's just gonna destroy. It's just gonna destroy our other productions, though. That is the issue here. Yeah, I'm going to call this a success if we get one smart cup onto the outgoing zone. <laughs> Let's have a look. Right, so we've got plastic parts. We've got integrated circuits. 
We got PCBs being made. We've got microcontrollers being made. How many more days have we got? We've got 10 days. Okay. We've got... Oh my god, we've got stuff being made. Uh, so we need 40 in 8 days. That's a lot every day. Always smart cup. Take those over. Whack them on there. Yeah, look at that. I'm just going to run it forward to like day 119 and um, just transfer everything that we've got over to the last over to the last one uh, over to the module uh, the outgoing zone and see see what we end up on I mean we're close guys we're close but not close enough unfortunately close but no cigar as they they say um, I yeah like I said I don't think um, well, it probably is. It probably is possible, right? We've got a lot of cash, so you can do a lot more things with it. Right? There's 119. So we've got seven smart as a cups, or cup smarts, whatever they are, smart cups. Right. So we need. We were 31 modules away. 31 modules away. I'll take that. I will definitely take that. That's the biggest, the best thing we can use. Yeah, we'll we'll CEO take that. TV with breaking news. Buckle up. <laughs> this story proves the importance of motivated So, employees. yeah, um we got two trophies. I'm a little bit disappointed I didn't get managed to get the three. Um I don't think I'll revisit this though. Uh, the challenges are very difficult like I said. Uh let's have a quick look though. Oh, we're ranked 15. Oh, of course it is possible. Yeah, right. Cool. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, remember to press the like button. Uh, any questions, suggestions or comments, leave them down in the comment section below. Um, if you do enjoy city building, simulation and management games like this, then be sure to subscribe. And I live stream over on Twitch every Sunday and Monday. The link to my channel is in the description. Uh, so thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, stay safe, have fun, and I'll see you on the next one.